Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back again for yet another DC Multiverse video. And today, I got something really exciting, right? You can see it right on your screen. It's a brown cardboard corrugated shipper box. It's awesome, right? No, it's what's inside the box that counts, because today, we're heading over to Entertainment Earth to check out their DC Multiverse Gold Label Site Exclusive Mr. Freeze, but we already have Mr. Freeze. Two of them, you say. Well, this is the Ice Crimes of Mr. Zero variant Black Light Edition, and I know exactly what everyone's going to say, but you're going to turn your brains off, and you're just going to let me have this one because I wanted it. It's gold label exclusive. You can only get it on Entertainment Earth. I'll put the link down in the description below, and it is one of 7,350 pieces, so hurry, run, go and grab it. <laughs> Time is a tick in there on the back side of the box. This is actually really nice, and it's something that I really wish was removable. This is a nice little add-in, but unfortunately it's part of the box, so you have to cut it out. But it's the very first appearance, the comic book cover, of Mr. Zero. Mr. Zero is not exactly Mr. Freeze. It's the precursor to Mr. Freeze, like the idea, like, hmm, well, it's a nice villain. Perhaps one day we'll do a character named Mr. Freeze and he'll be infinitely cooler. However, I will say, read the issue if you haven't. I checked it out because of this figure, never read it before, and it is interesting. You kind of see little tidbits, little ideas that formulated, right, to become elements of Heart of Ice in Batman the Animated Series, so definitely check it out. And be sure to take note of Mr. Zero's bald head and his freeze gun as we look at the figure, right? Now, inside the box is a little tray, kinda sort of Mezco, but not nearly as expensive, right? As McFarlane toys should not be. But you get to see the wild color variants, and you get to see all the parts and pieces and everything inside the tray. So for that alone, that's pretty cool. At least they're making something out of this set. And if you were wondering, because this does black light, it does come with the batteries. You don't need to get some. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new DC Multiverse Entertainment Earth Gold Label Exclusive, The Ice Crimes of Mr. Zero by McFarlane Toys. All right, so here's everything out of the packaging, Mr. Zero, and then all the parts and pieces that you will utilize to essentially build a miniature Spencer's Gifts within the comfort of your own home. You do get a really nice looking collector card with the front cover artwork, totally dig that. And then you do get a little standee for the card that says Mr. Freeze. And I would kind of prefer action figures in the future to come with that over the black stand. You get a certificate of authenticity. Mine is number 558, so it's low numbers, baby. So get ready, give it like two years, million dollar figure right here at least. Now, here's the dealio with this whole situation. You get a platform stand, which looks like something out of Tony Stark's laboratory, and then every video game that's been made since 2013, right? So those little holograms that pop up. Drives me nuts. Everything looks the same now these days. But you get the idea. It's a platform stand that's going to be the base. You get these little clips that will slip underneath the base, and that's going to hold the little poles, which are seen here, which then house your black lights, that's where everything is gonna clip on. And speaking of the black lights, well, here they are. They look like little Mr. Freeze cannons, right? Little ice beams, kinda, sorta, right? Kinda, sorta, but yes, there's a black light within them, and if you were to light up my review station, I'm sure it would glow like a Jackson Pollock painting, right? <laughs> Thank God there's nothing on my hands, right? Should have checked that before I did that on the camera, but you get the idea. Those look pretty good. You have the little thing right here that will clip onto the metal post. It'll move around at your leisure, and you do get two of those. Now, you do get the Mr. Freeze Blaster, the Ice Zapper, whatever you want to call it. We've seen this now. This is the third go around. It's all yellow with the ice effects coming out the tip. It's fine, right? But... I don't like the ice effects in there. The first go arounds with Mr. Freeze, you could pull these out. I tried, it started to kind of snap and break. So that is securely glued in this time. Warner Brothers, 
Uh, they probably did not the like of that the first time. Like, wait a minute, you made it removable? Mr. Zero, and if I say Mr. Freeze in any way, shape, or form in this video, you can leave me a comment and tell me how terrible I am. But Mr. Zero himself, not a whole heck of a lot of things going on. There's some splatter on the back of some yellow paint. But other than that, it's exactly the same figure, but now he's sporting some psychedelic colors, right? You can pull the helmet off. You can see his goggled noggin. That'll go up, down, left, right. You get the idea. It's the same exact articulation we've seen with these figures. In fact, I think this is now the third time I've looked at a Mr. Freeze, but all the other ones didn't have black lights. And like I said, if this is not your thing, it's mine. There's been a ton of black light figures from McFarlane Toys. All of them, not my thing. But this... <laughs> Apparently, they finally got me with a Mr. Zero. And if you really think about it, all the variants, everything else with these figures, this is truly a new character, right? And that's really stretching things, to be honest with you. Now, in setting up the base, it's pretty self-explanatory. You get the whole nodules, and you're going to clip on the black lights, and you're going to make everything happen. Because once you do that, you put the little standy right there with the trading card, you have your platform. He's ready for the big show. He looks like he's on stage at a Vegas performance, right? But the black lights, all of that utilized, all of them pointing, you can move them around at your leisure. Pretty self-explanatory. But yes, it does make for a fun display. But not everyone's going to dig this. However, when you turn the lights off and you got the black lights going, yeah, this is cool. It's fine for what it is. It's not the most exciting thing in the world. And no, I don't want them to do any more black lights. I'd prefer them not to do any more Joker eyes. I know it pays the bills. I get the idea. But I want to see them focusing on core characters, accessories, and attention to detail. But dang it all, when you get the lighting just right and you snap that photo, God, that looks cool. <laughs> It's the dumbest thing in the world. And as I found, you pull the helmet off and the goggles are like the coolest thing that glows on this guy, right? You kind of move it around. The gun doesn't glow for whatever reason. I don't know why that's not a thing. But the goggles with the red on a Mr. Freeze, that's kind of cool, I have to say. Other than that, this is just goofball, one-off fun. And I am having fun with this DC Multiverse figure. And just to show you some scalature, we have the Nightfall Batman, and then you have that Robin that I said really looks like Jason Todd and everyone threw a fit. So it's Dick Grayson, fine. Totally works because, yeah, more or less, that's the front cover for Mr. Zero. Now, I will say this, they could have given us more of a, a bald-headed person, right, instead of the goggles happening, and really tried, right, to differentiate it from Mr. Freeze. Even though it is Mr. Freeze, technically it's not Mr. Freeze, technically. You catch my drift? So a little bit more effort, McFarlane Toys, because this is just a simple repaint. A new gun and just a total bald Lex Luthor head really would have gone a long way. And that goes a long way for collectors ready to spend money. Take some interest in what people want once in a while. And if you're wondering how does the black light work on other figures, it doesn't. Unless there's black light paint on your figures, no, it's not gonna work. However, I'm gonna find some black light figures that I have somewhere, someplace, keep these handy, and we'll have some fun with later videos. And like I said, if you are interested in this figure, you can grab it off Entertainment Earth now. With my links, you get 10% off. Is it the most exciting figure in the world? No. Is it the dumbest figure in the world? Not really. It's close, but it's still pretty fun. And out of all the black light figures, there you go. This is the one that I will recommend. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new, the Ice Crimes of Mr. Zero, black light variant of Mr. Freeze, of which it's an Entertainment Earth exclusive by McFarlane Toys for the DC Multiverse. And you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Mr. Zero. And I am gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly remember, when it comes to the DC Multiverse line, they got a lot to improve on. We know that. It's been repaint after repaint after repaint. So instead of beating a dead horse from now on, we're just going to have some fun. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, 
we'll move on with our lives. But if you want a cool black light figure for your shelf, well, here you go. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.